Today I'm going to show you how to pan a scene with the perspective camera. In a previous video I showed you how to pan and zoom using an orthographic camera. The link to that video is in the description. Today I will show you how to do the same effect except using a perspective camera in a 3D environment. In Unity, I went ahead and set up a quick sample scene using about 250 cubes spaced out evenly around the scene. My objective is to click and drag around the scene to move my camera around these objects. This is a common gesture used on mobile devices. The first thing we want to do is create an empty object to hold our script. For now, I'll just label this Perspective Holder. Then let's attach a new script to it and let's call this Perspective Pan. Just like in our last video, we want to detect where our finger touched the screen and record that as a vector 3 point. Then as we drag our finger, we want to move our camera in the opposite direction of its movement. If we copy and paste the code from our last script, it would look something like this. We then need a private reference to store our first touch, which we will save as a vector 3 called touch start. So once our mouse button is pressed down, we record that point using screen to world point. And then down here as the mouse is continued to be pressed down, we subtract the original position by the current position of the mouse, and then move the camera based on those coordinates. By the way, we reference get mouse button, but this script will also work for touch input, so you can use your finger on mobile devices and it will have the same effect. Although the problem with the script is that screen to world point does not work with the perspective camera. Instead we need to use a raycast. When using an orthographic camera we are able to plot our touch because our scene is essentially flat. Although when the camera is in perspective mode it's hard to plot exactly where our mouse touched. The further an object is from the camera, the more it appears in the middle of the screen. So we then need to create a flat plane for our raycast to intersect with. In most cases, this is the same Z position as our ground, hence why we will refer to it as ground Z in our script. We are going to set up a function to calculate this point on the fly, so let's create a new function and let's call it get world position. We're going to want it to output a vector 3 value, so let's change void to vector 3. Then we're going to want to use screen point to ray to draw a ray cast based on our mouse position. In order to do this, we need to reference our camera, so let's create a public camera at the top called cam. Then in Unity, let's drag our camera into the inspector. Next, back in our function, let's create a new ray called mouse POS and set it equal to cam dot screen point to ray and in parentheses let's put input dot mouse position. This will draw an invisible line or ray from where our mouse touched the screen down into the objects of our scene. Then we want to intersect this ray with a ground object. We will use a plane for this called ground and let's set it equal to new plane and in parentheses let's put vector 3 dot forward and then a new vector 3 with a 0x a 0 for y, and for the z value, let's put z. This z value is important because it's what we will use as a base for our scrolling. Like I mentioned before, this is usually our ground element. For this scene, this value is 0. Let's go back to the top of our function and let's pass a float for z in the parentheses so that this value can be changed as needed. Then, we need to detect where our ray from our mouse position intersects with our ground plane. So let's create an empty float called distance. Then let's write ground.raycast and in parentheses let's put mouse POS and then out and then distance. We can then use distance to calculate our vector 3 point. So let's put return mouse POS dot get point and in parentheses, let's put distance. This will output a vector 3 position that has the same z position as our ground, which is almost equivalent to using screen to world point on an orthographic camera. So let's replace the lines where we use screen to world point with get world position, and let's pass 0 in parentheses. 
Or to make things easier, we can create a public float for ground Z that we can adjust as we need. If you did everything correctly, you should be able to navigate around the screen by clicking and dragging. Although, a couple of things to note here. Number one, our camera has a zero rotation. And number two, our objects are placed above our ground Z position. To show you this example in another scene, I went ahead and downloaded the Simple Town Asses pack and used their sample scene. I went ahead and linked that in the description below. In order to get it to work, I had to rotate the camera to zero and then rotate the entire scene so that it was facing top down. Then if I add my script to the scene, I'm able to perfectly navigate around using my finger or my mouse. If you found this video to be helpful, you can support me by liking, commenting, and subscribing.